Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a granny square. And all you need for this is a crochet hook and some yarn. I just have regular worsted weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter hook. And you can use any yarn and any hook for this project. So the first thing you need to know how to do is a slip knot. I just make a loop like that. Put the tail through the loop. Hold on to the tail, hold on to the other tail, and pull tight. If you don't know how to do a slip knot, there are plenty of tutorials on how to figure that out. So anyways, insert your hook into your slip knot and pull it kind of tight. Not too tight, you want good tension. And then what you're going to do is a chain 3 to start. So you're just going to wrap it around, pull up a loop, one, wrap it around, pull up a loop, two, wrap it around, pull up a loop, that's three loops on your hook, one, two, three. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work in a round. So we need to make a round. And the way you do that is you're going to slip stitch into this very first stitch that we made here. So you're going to take your hook, you're going to insert it into this very first loop. Let me get a better angle here. Into this first loop, like that. Then you're going to take your yarn and loop it around and you're going to pull it through this one and this one through both of those to make a slip stitch so i pulled it from through the first one now you want to pull it through the second one and that should be the only loop left on your hook and now once we've done that that makes this sort of loop a second i'll show you there we go. See, I've got this loop here with a hole in the middle. And we're going to be doing all of our stitches in that hole. Oh, careful not to lose your stitch here. So see, this is my stitch. And this is my round that I made. And we're going to be going in there. So first thing you want to do is another chain three, just like we did in the beginning. One, two, three. Now you this chain three right here counts as your first double crochet. And you want to do three double crochet to make your first corner. So to make a double crochet, you're going to wrap your yarn around, go in this hole that we talked about, insert your hook in there, pull up a loop. Now we've got three loops on our hook. Wrap your yarn around your hook again and pull through two loops. Okay, halfway there. Now wrap around again and pull through another two loops. Okay, now what we want to do is, so now see we've got one double crochet and this chain three counts as a double crochet. So we need one more to make our first corner. So again, we're going to wrap our yarn around, insert it into our hole, wrap it around, <coughs> pull up a loop. Now we've got three loops on our hook. Wrap it around again, pull through two loops, wrap it around, pull through two loops. So this is the first, the start of our first corner. So now what we want to do is we want to make the middle of the square. So we're going to chain one. And now all we're going to do is we're going to repeat that chain three to make another corner. So wrap your yarn around. Insert it into your hole, 
pull up a loop, pull through one, two, pull through, wrap it around, pull through two. Do that twice more and we'll have another corner. So wrap your yarn around, insert it, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, wrap it around, pull through two loops, wrap it around, and pull through two loops. So now we have, we have two doubles on our hook. We need one more. So wrap your yarn around, <coughs> insert it, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Now we have two sides and you can see that it's starting to form. This is going to be one side, this is going to be one side. We need two more. So once again, we're going to chain one and all we're going to do is we're going to do three more doubles. So wrap your yarn around, insert it, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Do that two more times. Wrap your yarn around, insert it, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. One more time. Wrap your yarn around, insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now we have three sides. We only need one more side and then we'll be done with this round. So we want to chain one, do three more, so three. Now what we want to do is we want to join our work to this first chain up here that we first started. So we just we find that first stitch. I just kind of join it to the top up here and you make a slip stitch just like that. So now you have your four sides. One, two, three, four. It looks kind of round right now, but it'll straighten out. So now what you want to do is you want to chain three. One, two, three, plus one, because we're going to skip this one. So four, chain four. So the first three counts as your first double, like it did last time. <coughs> and this one counts as a stitch in between the two squares. These stitches in between will be where your corners are going to be. So we're going to go to this first corner over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to do three doubles in this corner. So wrap your yarn around, 
insert it in here, pull up a loop, so that's one, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through, that's two, wrap around, insert your hook, pull up a loop, wrap around, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. So <clears throat> now we've got three loops on our first, in our first corner. Now what we want to do is we want this corner to kind of go around. We want to make the corner bigger so that we don't buckle up like this. So we're going to add three stitches here. So one, two, three. And now since we have three, we're going to add another three double in the same spot right here. So One, two, three. And this makes our first corner. See, you can kind of see it looks nice. And this is our very first chain. So this is like the body of the first side, and this is the first corner. We're going to do that in every corner. We're going to do, in every corner, we're going to do three doubles, three chains, three doubles. And in the middle, all we're going to do here is we're going to chain one. And then we're back to another corner, and we're going to do our three doubles, three chains, three doubles again. My dog's crying.